Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing another American has been arrested here in Thailand, this time on some rather pretty serious charges. Quoting directly from a recent article in Thai PBS World, that's ThaiPBSWorld.com, our article is titled, American Wanted in U.S. on Human Trafficking Arrested in Bangkok. Quoting directly, Thai anti-human trafficking police have arrested an American who fled a 25-year jail sentence in the United States for kidnapping, sex trafficking, and other crimes, officers said Tuesday. Selva Delano Muldaliar was jailed for at least 25 years by a court in the U.S. state of Oregon in March this year, according to a Thai police statement, on 11 counts that also included strangulation and coercion. Quoting further, he was arrested on Friday at a condominium in Bangkok after the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation asked the Thai authorities for help and now faces extradition. Quote, it is believed that Mr. Selva knew that he was wanted by the police, unquote, Korkiat Wuti Jamnong, a senior officer with the Royal Thai Police's Human Trafficking Prevention and Suppression Unit, told reporters at a press conference. He added that the Thai police were concerned Muldalier would, quote, do similar types of sexual violence he did in the U.S., but not in Thailand, unquote. Yeah, gr good. I, that, yeah, that was, a, that was a good presumption to make on the part of the Thai police and basically proactively go after you know, a sex offender and looks like now apprehending them and extraditing them back to where they came from. The, I, I, I got to tell you, when I was reading this article, I, I had a little sort of twinge of, I guess, happiness, you know, uh, maybe relief might be the right, right word for it, insofar as, you know, we've discussed before Big Joke, who is currently sort of on suspension pending possibly not being a police officer anymore, whatever. I, I don't know where that's going, but I had done a video talking about him where I said, you know, one of the big things that I was very much in favor of uh, when he was engaging or practicing in law enforcement was the fact that, you know, he seemed to take a keen interest in going after sex offenders. And I was a little bit worried that Thai law enforcement, you know, might lose some of the zeal with him no longer being an active duty officer. It looks to me like maybe my concern there was somewhat unfounded, although I'm still gonna always remain concerned with regard to that issue because it's, it's one that I am very much in favor of authorities, you know, enforcing the law on. And the, so I was rather heartened by reading this story about the you know, current efforts of law enforcement. And also, I think it was interesting to note that they specifically said, Royal Thai Police's Human Trafficking Prevention and Suppression Unit. Good, good. There's a unit dedicated to that. Good. I, I hope they get all the resources they need. I hope they liaise with whoever they need to liaise with. I urge those who are watching this video, go check out that article in detail because it looks like the embassy, the U.S. Embassy here in Thailand, was also very much involved with this and were assisting the Thais in their endeavor to apprehend this person. You know, I, this is good to see. You know, again, I'm, I'm glad to see that there's not only a dedicated unit, hopefully, again, they get all the resources they need. It does appear that there is close cooperation between them and U.S. authorities, most notably Federal Bureau of Investigation. So, again, these, to my mind, these are all wins. You know, this, this, these are all check boxes in the win column for you know, good people, decent people just wanting to live and enjoy their lives here in the kingdom of Thailand.